and Republicans have become increasingly vocal in their support of U.S. military action against drug cartels in Mexico. And The Hill points out some of that rhetoric is, quote, rattling people on both sides of the border who worry talk of an attack is getting normalized. Republican presidential candidate and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is promising this kind of military action on day one in office if elected. I'm not going to send troops to Ukraine, but I am going to send them to our southern border. When these drug pushers are bringing fentanyl across the border, that's going to be the last thing they do. We're going to use force and we're going to leave them stone cold okay. dead. Where, where? Okay, panel. Stone Cold Dead. That was a big hit in the hall among Republicans. You were there. Well, yeah, it was. It was. And this is very much echoing Ron DeSantis' immigration plan. I think it, his immigration plan might have been the first or second policy proposal he put forward. And it's very harsh, or a lot of critics would say it's harsh in how it treats, um, you know, those coming over the border yeah. and how it's really cracking down. This is something that very much plays with the primary base, just like Build the Wall did. But there is a concern, I think, among some more moderate Republicans about how this sort of rhetoric would play in a general election. Okay, as a practical matter, is the United States, can, can the United States, will the United States send troops into an ally? I don't know why we should. I mean, we used to have JTF-6 that was established. I think they've since renamed it JTF North. Right along, I, I toured it when I was a White House staffer. No. And that's the whole point of it was to monitor what was happening and coming over the border and to keep it from happening. And it was very successful. So I'm not sure why we're having to go in. I don't really care what happens in Mexico. I don't care if they're, like, operating and doing all those things in Mexico. What I don't want and what we should, we should all be concerned about is what they're doing in America because right, they're killing but, I mean, the, the thousands of the Americans is, all the time, Fentanyl every is year. killing thousands of it's Americans fentanyl, on, a, yes. on a weekly basis. Yeah. And so what to do about it, and I think this is what he's addressing, yeah. Is this kind of anxiety, this kind of concern? Bombing our biggest trade partner is not a foreign policy yeah. or a way to deal with fentanyl being brought across the border. We need to actually deal with securing the border in our immigration policy as well as dealing border? with mental health. That? Absolutely. <laughs> but immigration is how we secure the border, not by putting up a giant wall or like these conversations that we all right, but, Okay, so it unifies Republicans, the issue, yeah. but it's dividing Democrats, right? right. So Kathy Hochul, mm -hmm. the governor of New York, now pleading with President Biden to do something, uh, in, institute or invoke an emergency order that would allow migrants, 100,000 now in New York City and New York State, 100,000 to work now. That would be a double-edged right. sword politically. Well, but most ordinary people want um, illegal immigration stopped and dealt with and enforced, but they want it to be easier to come here legally and then so that you work, so that you contribute to the society, you pay taxes. It's hard. You can't find... Uh, for construction projects, for building houses, we have a housing shortage. We have because we don't have workers yeah. because we have made work illegal. The American people know that's a bad strategy. So I, I thought this was good to hear from a Democratic governor say that there should be the migrants should be working. Like if they're here, they should be working. Ron DeSantis learned this exactly in Florida when he tried to toughen the immigration and work requirements there. It, they had problems with yeah. uh, being able to pick produce. They had problems with construction, like you said. Uh, Governor Hochul was a client of mine at the Lieutenant Governor's Association, oh. and she is 100% right. We can't just house people and give them no ability yeah, to work Yeah, but she's putting provide. she's putting the leader of her party on the spot, right? Let them work right away. What? Is President Biden going to do that? What's the first thing Republicans are going to say if President Biden were to allow 100,000 people who Republicans are... Republicans are going to say what they're going to say no matter what. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you know... Republicans aren't... I, they shouldn't be running against work. Right. The immigrants, yeah. everyone here... But those needs jobs to work. are they're for Americans. Uh, they don't want to well, you know, People who are here, some, many of them illegally, to take American jobs. That would be the rhetoric. I mean, mm -hmm. it's so they're put... As a, from a purely we political matter... Houses. Yeah. We've yeah. got to build houses. You know, every... One of the things I've heard on the campaign trail a lot that's true is that... You know, I ran for Congress in San Diego, which is an actual border town. But now that we have such permissive immigration laws, and this president's done nothing to enforce what is even on the books, we have every county in America is experiencing what it's like to be a border county. And so for the first time, you're seeing these New Yorkers who are by in deep blue territory uh -huh. saying, I mean, if you looked at it, like the, the polls, it said the New Yorkers themselves wanted them, did a total NIMBY on these people. They're like, yeah. ship them out somewhere else. Yeah. These are not Republicans. These are not people who, are, who, who hate right. immigrants. Right. Neither are Republicans. We just want to have some sort of law and order. And as a, a daughter of immigrants who came here and did so much to earn the privilege of becoming an American citizen, my dad served in the U.S. Air Force so that he could have the privilege of becoming an American citizen. People don't understand how insulting it is to people that are like my my family who actually worked hard and played by the rules and all of a sudden you have all these people. There are so many hundreds of countries of people who are coming through our southern border 
to just get ahead of everyone who's been waiting for so long. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.